How's it going everybody? Back with another master set video. This one's a little unconventional though. So uh, last year I wanted to record a video of completing the Trick or Trade Booster Bundle master set, but I didn't have a good binder for it. So I have the full set of the previous year here, but I don't have the 2023 set or the 2024 set, which just came out. Uh, and now that vault has this just orange binder, uh, I thought that was a pretty good thematic match. Um, so I figured we could kind of speed run opening um, a couple master sets. These aren't really, um, you know, their own master set or subset or whatever, if you can see here on the cards. Um, they are just really variant cards of the actual master sets. You know, they, they have the little Pikachu logo on them, but... We've got our uh, orange vault here, so let's get that open and um, start ripping into some of these packs. I think um, we'll be able to complete it in like, you know, just a handful of packs per set, and that way I'll be able to hand out the rest. Um, that way I'll be able to hand out the rest uh, for Halloween. So the I did have extra boxes of this, and that went over really well last year for Halloween. We gave the kids uh, candy and Pokemon cards, so they really seem to like that. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll start with this set and then we'll move into that one. And then we will place all three years that are complete so far in our new binder. All right, let's rip into it. So we should have 30 cards uh, for each year to complete. And again, I think they're going to be uh, pretty easy to pull. So uh, the 2023 set came with 50 packs. The 2024 booster bundle comes with, uh, looks like, 35 mini packs. But I do also believe the MSRP is a little cheaper on it. All right. So when you open these up, or if you give them out as candy um, on Halloween, give them out in place of candy, rather, um, I think there's only three cards per set. And like I said, we're looking for 30 unique cards. So what I'll do is I'll kind of sort them by energy over here and uh, just try to keep count of 30. And then we will have completed the master set. So this will be one of the few that are easy to uh, complete just by opening. So this is our first duplicate. So we'll just set that aside. But I figured this would be, uh, you know, thematic, nice for Halloween. So we're not doing too bad already. Let's see if I can just keep a line up going and keep count. So we're at eight of 30 cards so far. I'm gonna sort the cards uh, by set order. So kind of release order. So there's a new one. So for example, like, you know, this one's Evolving Skies, so it would obviously come before Scarlet and Violet Base. Um, some more light on there so that'll come before scarlet and violet vase so this will go in the set before this one even though you know energy wise the drift blim should come before the marsh shadow and you'll see some of them are you know each pack gets a hollow um So we're almost halfway there, and I'm quickly running out of space. But we don't have a Lampant yet, we don't have a Spectre yet, and a Murkrow. So doing pretty good. Only one duplicate so far. I don't know if they are, you know, seated or anything like that. Phantom. Uh, we already got ourselves a Houndoom. 
and we already got ourselves a shuffet, but I think I might have bent this shuffet, so let's replace that. Zubat, which is one we needed. Trevenant, another one we needed. And Grievard, which we already have up there. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Still missing 10 of them. And it looks like that's one of them. So Delmize is one. Gengar is another. And Drifloon we already have. And you can see these are a mix of Scarlet and Violet sets and uh, Sword and Shield era sets. So Mimikyu is new. I guess I should keep the hollows off to the side. Uh, Driftblim we already have. And Bennett I think we already have as well. No, we don't. So six cards to go. And again, I don't know what six cards are left. We don't need Delmai's Destinoir. We need him, so that's good. And we don't need Miss Magnus. Or Miss Mages. Don't need Bennett. Don't need Houndstone. Don't need Murkrow. So this is a little flying blind here. It's like playing a match game. Not exactly sure what I'm missing. Um, but I am missing this one. Chandelure. We already have. And Shuppet we already have. So not bad. We are cruising along. Twenty-six, is that what we have? So we need four cards? I don't know. We'll count them up here at the end. If we open up enough of them, we're definitely going to complete one or two master sets. Lycanroc is one we needed. Marshadow we do not. And Grievard we do not. Haunter? I don't believe we have Haunter. So does that mean we are also missing a Ghastly? Well, yes we were, because here is Ghastly. So there we go. Ghastly, got Spectrier, and we got Driftblim. So let's take stock here. We have... Sorry, I should have kept the overhead cam, I guess, because these are difficult to organize. Twenty-nine. So we are missing one card. Is it Sinisty? Might be. I've got Poltergeist, but I did not see Sinistry. So I think that's it. I think that is our set. So we will set these guys aside. And I'll double check that before we put them in the binder. But now we can move on to our 2024 set. And these are currently, usually you can find both years in Walmart um, or Target or wherever. Honestly, everybody has these and uh, you should be able to find them, you know, even in the middle of October for like 10, 15 bucks. So they are not expensive little sets and uh, they are pretty cool to hand out. Like I said, the kids like it, so. We will sleeve those up, and that was pretty easy. Look at all the packs we have left over to hand out. 
uh, for Halloween. So good deal there. And for 2024, we have the same deal here. Same little bucket, just fewer packs. We'll try to keep it a little more organized this time. So again, I haven't seen these. So we've got Castly. Yeah, so a Cosmos foil, that's new. That looks really good. For Teal Mask Ogre Palm, but like I said, I, I would expect this set to be all Twilight Masquerade, or not Twilight Masquerade, all Scarlet and Violet era. So this one's Twilight Masquerade, here's Paldean Fates, and here is a Temporal Forces. So yeah, we'll organize them in uh, set order um, eventually in the binder so that we don't have to just make up our own order based on, you know, energy type or whatever. We got a Haunter, a Monkey Dory, and a Gorgeist. Nice Hound Doom from Obsidian Flames and Pheasantipity. Man, that Cosmos foil is so good. So, if you've seen the Master Set videos, uh, these are really kind of just uh, variant cards for the master set, but because they do come in their own product um, and are easier to organize that way than adding these to a bunch of master set binders, um, you know what, we'll just put them, maybe we'll put all the Pokemon like with their evolution counterpart, and then we can put the hollows off to the side here. So we have the Loyal Three and Ochre Pond here. Okay, Gorgeist, Grievard up there, and there's our Sprigatito. Yeah, so Ghastly is a duplicate. We do have Pikachu. There are about a million versions of this card. And Pulchgeist. Like I said, these technically, like if you're keeping track of them for your collection or whatever, uh, I use an app called Dex to do that. And uh, these will show up as variant cards in the uh, master set, I believe, instead of, um, instead of, you know, their own trick or trade set. Um, I kind of wish they showed up as their own trigger trade set, but they do have the set stamp marker from the actual set on there. Uh, so that is the correct way to, uh, correct way to classify them would be in the uh, actual set. You know, the Temporal Forces cards we pull here should go in the Temporal Forces binder or whatever. You know, there's no wrong way to organize your cards however you like to when you collect. There's our Gengar. And a Quaxley. So there's two of our starters. We still need our Foy Coco, I assume. But that is funny because the um, a lot of the tracker apps and stuff like that uh, do count um, the McDonald's sets, for example, as their own unique subset. I kind of consider these the same. I have not bought the Christmas boxes to get the ones with the little snowflake on them. Maybe I'll do that this year. Litwick, Sinisha, and Screamtail. So where are we at? We've got five, ten of the hollows, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25. So we got five cards left to go. And 
And there's one we needed. Four cards left. And I believe there's one we needed. So three cards left. Chandelure we need. Monkey Dory we have. And Grievard we have. So is that two cards left? There's our Fue Coco. Presentipity we have, and Gorgeist we have. So um, let me just double count again because I'm not, maybe we do have everything. 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Yeah, we should still have one to go. So I wonder who we are missing. We have everybody on the pack card. Oh, that's who we're missing. Iron Jugulus. So. There we go. So that should be our 30 for 2024. And good addition on these with the uh, the Cosmos Hollow. I like that. Looks good. You know, a lot of the times you have to get these Cosmos Foils um, variants in like check lane blisters and stuff like that. So pretty cool for just a few bucks to get 10 those variants um, in one go. So we have three nice sets here. And like I said, these are all silver border. So these are all the um, Scarlet and Violet Era cards. What I'll do when I organize them is like, see, this is Paradox Rift. This is Paldean Fates. Uh, this is Paldean Fades, this is Temporal Forces, blah, blah, blah. So we'll go through and we'll sort them in the uh, the set order and uh, then do it by energy. So they're numbered set order. So let's sort those and uh, get them placed in the binder. So there we go. There's our uh, triple master set collection, I guess, of uh, all of the trick or trade sets released so far. So we've got the 2022 set here uh, going through the Sword and Shield era. And I'll probably get the pack arts. I tried to see if it would fit with cards inside of it, but I might have to cut up some of the, uh, the packs I opened. Um, and I'll put maybe a set of pack art for each trick or trade set to fill out these pages. Maybe I'll even do all six sets there. Um, and here's the 2023 set. And as you can see, I did go with the nine page binder this time or nine slot binder this time, just because these aren't the biggest sets and you know, who knows how many years they'll do them. The only annoying thing about the 2024 set here, which, uh, to go through how I sorted them. These two are Paldea Evolved. These are Obsidian Flames cards. Um, these are Paradox Rift cards. So I'm just kind of putting them in the order. These are Paldean Fates. Um, lots of Paldean Fates. Here's some Temporal Forces. And then the rest is Twilight Masquerade. So maybe not the best way to sort them. Maybe I should just sort them by energy instead, the way a set would normally be sorted but 
like I said, we have plenty of pages for next year's set, um, especially considering each one only takes up, you know, two binder pages. So we have many more years worth of trick or trade sets of space here in the binder. And uh, it'll look good, you know, going on the shelf, all this orange, and it's going to very obviously be, you know, a Halloween set, right? If it's a binder that is that orange. So um, that's a nice little filler for the spooky month uh, we've got here before Surging Sparks comes out in November, and I'm really looking forward to that. If you guys haven't seen some of the cards they're revealing for that, uh, they're incredible. So uh, really looking forward to that. Uh, we'll be back here opening up some more of that on the channel soon, and we'll see how quickly we can complete that master set. In the meantime, guys, I hope you enjoyed and uh, look forward to opening up some more cards with you in the future. Have a good one. Bye.